The following take is on Taino DNA. Don't be reactionary. Let's put some thought into this. So the following is taken from first Taino and African maternal heritage in the Greater Antilles. This was published in 2017. And this article here, published in 2020, Why Hopla Group Diversity of the Dominican Republic Reconstructing the Effect of the European Colonization and the Transatlantic Slave Trades. This you see mentioned a lot all through uh, social media. Uh, Puerto Ricans retaining 61.3% of Taino ancestry, the highest of all in the Spanish-speaking Caribbean. Uh, this could be largely due to possibly uh, when you study the chronicles, uh, it was recorded that the Arawaks in Borican or Puerto Rico um, were recorded of being more warlike and largely resisted the Spanish. So this part is from the Dominican Republic as they found 22.0% of Dominicans on the island retain uh, Taino ancestry. Also to note that 61.0% of African heritage, this is on the maternal side. As you will see later, um, when you compare both sides, the maternal and the paternal uh, Dominicans as an ethnic group, just like Puerto Ricans and Cubans, we are admixed and we are triracial as an ethnic group. This is from uh, Cuba, as in the study, it shows on the maternal side, Cubans retain 33.1% Taino ancestry. So you see this difference uh, between Haiti and Jamaica, as cited in the article, is largely due to historical depopulation events. In the 2017 article, it cites that in the Dominican Republic, there were seven native Hapa groups present on the maternal side. Then you have that rare native Hapa group among the Dominican ethnic group in the DR that was found on the paternal side. The gene pool simulated in the Hispanic Caribbean. There was a cultural assimilation and admixing of the various groups, which created a unique melting pot or a sancocho. The Tainos adapted to their living conditions and passed their cultural knowledge dealing with the environment. As being first contact with the Spanish, the Spanish had to learn to live in the Caribbean from Arawaks. This is in the 2020 article. It says, the Dominican wine hop group composition was characterized by an excess of Northern African slash European lineages, 59%, followed by African clades, 38%, whereas the Native American lineages were rare at 3%. It says further in the 2020 article, on the paternal side, most of the wine hop groups are European origin, 70% or of African origin, 20%, whereas the Native American lineages are very rare or absent. And so far, this was found, found among Dominicans in the DR. Uh, would be, it would be very interesting if anything comes up on the paternal side for uh, Puerto Ricans in Puerto Rico and Cubans in Cuba. As mixed descendants today, we have a very unique demographic history. So that's all for today. So what do you think? Uh, follow me on Instagram at Antillian Federation, on YouTube and WordPress at Confederation of Antilles. Link for WordPress is found on my Confederation of the Antilles YouTube page. And until the next build.